Hi, I'm Daisy. I'm Ashley. And I'm Claire. And the title of our experiment is Antagonistic Pseudomonas Corinzis and Pathogenic Mista Intestinalis May Inhibit P. vulgaris Shoot Growth. The objective of this research was to identify and isolate plant growth promoting rhizobacteria from Camisoniopsis carinthifolia to culture these bacteria in the laboratory setting and to utilize these bacteria to inoculate Faciolus vulgaris harnessing PGPR characteristics to increase crop yield. PGPR is a general category of beneficial microorganisms that inhabit the rhizospheres of most plants helping to increase the bioavailability of essential nutrients for plant growth and helping the plant to combat stresses from drought and salinity. As the world's agricultural demands increase and soil health decreases from excessive pesticide use and over farming, use of PGPR as bioinoculants has emerged as a natural way to increase agricultural productivity and reestablish soil health. We isolated bacteria from the rhizosphere of C. corinthifolia and grew stock cultures to inoculate P. vulgaris, a common bush bean, to see if the addition of the bacteria could help to increase root and shoot length as a measure of plant health. We took a small root sample from C. corinthifolia, dislodged rhizospheric bacteria from the root, and performed serial dilutions to bring the amount of bacteria to a manageable level for study. From these dilutions, we identified several bacteria to test for certain biochemical properties like phosphate solubilization, nitrogen fixation, and exopolysaccharide production. Based on the results of these tests, we selected two isolates, 10 agdh 3 r and 10 agdh 4 r for further culturing. We made stocks of these two strains, which we then used to inoculate the P. vulgaris plants. Fungal and bacterial interaction assays were done in order to see if the isolates promoted bacterial growth or had antifungal properties. In figure one, isolate four appeared to promote bacterial growth since the bacteria were swabbed from left to right. In figure two, there appears to be bacterial growth promotion, but further testing should be done to obtain conclusive results. In figure three, there is a more dramatic halo on isolate three than isolate four when interacted with penicillium notatum. Square plate assays were done in order to observe potential PGP growth in C. clarinthifolia seed germination. A lot more growth was observed in isolate 3 and isolate 4 inoculated seeds than the saline control treatment, but further testing should be redone due to the potential contamination in the control treatment. Also, all of the isolates display nitrogen fixation in the biochemical assays. Isolate Four and isolate 11 displayed the most positive results. Isolate 4 also displayed a hazy halo in phosphate solubilization. And most of the statistical tests that we ran displayed data that was statistically insignificant with the exception of the average shoot length of P. vulgaris. In figure 6, the saline treatment group displayed the largest shoot length and was statistically significant compared to isolate 4 and isolate 11 inoculate treatments. Although the other treatment graphs were not significantly different, figure five illustrates that saline treatment had the lowest average shoot weight of P. vulgaris compared to the bacterial inoculants, and figure seven displays that the control and isolate three treatments both had very similar and the highest average root weights of P. vulgaris. 16S rDNA sequences from the three bacterial strains were amplified and identified using nucleotide blast. We constructed a phylogenetic tree showing that the identity of isolate 3 was Novosphingovium guangzhouens, isolate 4 was Pseudomonas coriensis, and isolate 11 was determined to be a species within the mixta genus. All bacterial strains showed nitrogen fixation, suggesting that all have the potential to promote plant growth by increasing the nutrients available to the plant. Isolate 4 showed the ability to fix nitrogen and solubilize phosphate, meaning it can provide plants with two of the major limiting nutrients required for growth. This strain would be a good candidate for further testing in future experiments. There appears to be no significant difference in root growth and number of lateral roots between treatments. Shoot length was found to be significantly less for plants inoculated with strain 4 and strain 11 compared to the saline control.
Isolate 11 was identified as an antagonist to plant pathogens, but in our experiments, it appeared to decrease plant growth. For future experiments, we would like to retest the biochemical properties of each isolate and re-examine the impact of P. coriensis on P. vulgaris growth, because the literature evidence suggests that it should be a highly beneficial PGPR, which our experiments did not support. Inoculation with P. coriensis showed either no significant difference over uninoculated plants or a significant decrease in growth over uninoculated plants. And we'd especially like to thank Dr. Urbanati, Dr. Lum, Hannah Lyford, and the support of the Biology Stockroom for their guidance and assistance with this project. Thank you.